As you all know, it's been 33 years of the CCC, and the debate on technology and politics has held a special place. Our first talk today is called Der 33 Jahre Rückblick, and it will be quite meta, as it will backtrack through the titles and abstracts from 1984 to today, analyze apparent patterns and turning points in the subject. To do so, we have Maxi Gras, who has a PhD, four master's degrees and three bachelor degrees. He is, <laughs> he is currently conducting postdoctoral research. He's interested in cybernetics, in the intellectual trajectory and everyday practices of the human and natural sciences. Joining him is Mel, who has a background in computer science, a PhD in media studies, works in research in the intersection of technology, education, and the international development. A round of applause for Maxi Grass and Mel. Thank you. So, so thank you for coming at this uh, really early hour. And this is the uh, first uh, results of a longer research project that uh, um, we started a couple of weeks ago. And uh, the, the idea was to look at uh, how the relationship of technology and politics uh, looks like in the, uh, all the talks of the uh, Congress. So this is a kind of uh, talk about all the talks that have been before. And it's a kind of uh, meta talk uh, ab that will be uh, about talks. And uh, why we were interested in this question is, of course, um, because there is an evergreen debate uh, inside the uh, Congress uh, between the hardcore techies and uh, between the technical activists, how much uh, politics and what kind of politics uh, should be in the Congress, what is the interesting or uh, boring technical content that should be presented, and so on. Uh, at the same time, this is also a, a classic uh, social scientific question. In fact, uh, there is a social scientific discipline called science and technology studies, uh, that is mainly cons constructed around this question of uh, the relationship between technology, society, and politics. So uh, what we did was uh, to uh, go back from the beginning and uh, read all the titles and the talks and categorize them and try to uh, come up with some uh, preliminary results to show you. Um, in this uh, journey, uh, the we found that the first years um, were a bit scarcely documented, so we had to uh, look at uh, various archives and uh, we found some uh, funny artifacts in the uh, meantime. So we would like to uh, share with you um, a video, um, some parts of uh, a television report that was screened in 1986, uh, documenting the second uh, Chaos Congress. This will be in uh, German. Played with and player. Chaos Kommunikationskongress 85 in Hamburg. Die Europäische Hackerparty. Das Treffen für Datenreisende. Passfoto mitbringen. Eintritt. Für Mitglieder 20, für Private 30, für Presse 50, für Gewerbliche 100 Mark. Das schreckte nicht ab. Ja. Hier, Gerät anziehen, vorübergehen. Die Kontrollen waren scharf. Der Feind lauert überall und heißt hier Gilb. Gemeint ist die Post. Von hier werden die Telefonleitungen verwaltet, die den Weg in die begehrten Datennetze und Banken eröffnen. Eine Art Datenreisebüro. Ich weiß nicht, so gegen vier waren wir wohl zu Hause. Die Hackerbewegung ist von Natur aus informationsfreudig und produziert dementsprechend viel Gedrucktes. Hacken ist ein Hobby, 
das viel theoretisches Wissen erfordert. Der Fortgeschrittene beherrscht die Computertechnologie, die Begriffe der Datennetze und verschiedenen Datenbanken. Er muss sich ständig weiterbilden, denn alles ist im Datenfluss. Das Hackcenter. Hier durfte gehackt werden. Ganz legal, versteht sich. Der Hacker braucht einen Computer, ein Telefon und eine Verbindung zwischen beiden, einen Akustikkoppler oder ein Modem. Nun kann er sich ins Datennetz begeben. Aber viele Hindernisse tun sich auf. Die Besitzer von Datenbanken und Großcomputer sehen es naturgemäß nicht gern, wenn Fremdlinge in ihre Systeme eindringen und vielleicht auch noch Schabernack darin treiben. Sie schützen sich mit Geheimnummern und Passwörtern. Die Überwindung dieser Hindernisse ist das eigentliche Ziel des Hackers. Die erkannten Geheimnummern und Passwörter sind des Hackers kostbarster Schatz. Dank der Zentrale nahm der Chaos-Kongress einen ziemlich geordneten Verlauf. Nahezu alle Veranstaltungen fanden statt und nahezu alle zu einem anderen Zeitpunkt als angekündigt. Is it all right? Internationaler Erfahrungsaustausch. Es ging um die alte Frage nach dem Sinn menschlichen Tuns, hier also des Hackens. Wow sagt, Wir sind nicht wie angekündigt fünf Hacker aus sechs Ländern, wir sind ein paar mehr. Wir denken, dass die Nationalität ohne Bedeutung ist. Wenn wir Ideen austauschen, sind die Ideen von Bedeutung. So schöne Sätze möchte man doch gerne einmal bei der UNO oder einem Gipfeltreffen hören. Nimmt die Hackerbewegung zu? Bleibt sie bei ihren Idealen? Ich sehe keinen Grund, dass sich das ändert. Ja, wird es eine Bewegung werden, die vielleicht mal die ganze Bevölkerung ergreift? So eine schöne Utopie. So, we end it with. So, we saw a glimpse of Wau Holland at the end. The, one of the founders of the club. Um, so this is uh, uh, the word cloud of all the data set, just to give you an impression of the whole. And as you can see, most of the terms look like technical terms, but uh, then uh, in the context, uh, um, they are often uh, poeticized in different ways. The, in the most typical way in which uh, these technical terms come into uh, a political way of talking is uh, the nightmares that you see on the left. And we were interested to see uh, over the years how the uh, topics and how the relationships uh, developed and uh, what was the internal dynamics of the, um, of the um, chaos uh, universe and uh, maybe also uh, the European hacking scene. Uh, but also we were interested how uh, this internal dynamics was uh, connected to larger uh, social transformations. For example, if it is possible to detect uh, the fall of the uh, Berlin Wall uh, in the uh, Congress contents. Um, so we chose just one very um, obvious and prominent example for a first uh, round of searching for keywords. Um, and this was searching for the keyword NSA. Um, and I don't know, you can probably not read the years, but it shows that it came up in 2004 and in 2005, and then again only in 2013. And from anecdotal evidence, I, I would have thought that it would have been present also in the years before. There was this kind of told you so mentality um, that I frequently heard people talking about, that we knew it all along and nobody listened. At least um, from the Congress talks and topics, this is not visible. Um, but as uh, Maxi Gas already said, we're all also interested in talking to people that have attended previous talks um, and getting more data and more evidence. So maybe this was uh, visible in other areas, just not in the Congress presentations. So where did we get the data before 92? It was um, the most difficult part 
we tried first the Congress archive um, on the CCC website, but that was not available anymore. So we were lucky enough, however, to find the file still in the web archive. Um, another source was the Datenschleuder archive, which is unfortunately also incomplete. And there we found a few scanned PDFs um, that we had to copy by hand. So just to give you an example, um, this is the Datenschleuder um, from one Datenschleuder from 84. There was a more or less complete schedule from the first Congress. So that, was, that one was still easy enough to copy. Um, there were other ones. Um, yeah, it also says bring your picture. <laughs> Um, there were other ones like this one from 91. It's already a bit harder to read, um, but it was still possible. Of course, there's also no abstract, so it wasn't always easy to figure out what the talks actually were about. We'll also talk about this aspect later. And then there were files like this one, uh, which is a review of the Congress 1990. We could not find any file plan or any schedule, so what we did is actually read uh, the file and try to figure out, okay, is this what people are talking about? Is this a talk? Was it a workshop? Was it just a topic that came up? Um, and try to compile um, a more or less accurate far plan from this information. Mm -hmm. So after 1992, there was uh, already uh, something called the World Wide Web, and uh, the schedules of the Congress were usually published in a, a human-readable form there, so uh, we could uh, write a scraper uh, to gather the talks. And, uh, of course, uh, we used the proper library, and uh, no regular expressions were harmed in the process. Um, the first ones are actually just ASCII charts, and uh, they are with the PRE tag inside the HTML. After 2002, there are machine-readable dumps of the program uh, in uh, ICAL format, and at some point uh, there is also XML, uh, which is uh, the most uh, structured uh, the dump that we could get. Um, these ones have different problems than the previous ones, so um, they are uh, in uh, various uh, encodings, and uh, usually the full abstract, uh, or in some years at least, the full abstract uh, was also missing. So um, this is, for example, some of the um, problems that we still have to clean up in the code base. Everything um, that uh, we used, uh, including the code ge that generated the original dataset and also the categorized uh, datasets are available in this uh, repository. And um, we have this uh, plan to migrate it into uh, maybe open science framework or a similar website, which is uh, for open science uh, projects specifically, which is not just a repository. So, as we said, uh, of course, uh, we tried to um, discern uh, which uh, talk um, should be considered a technological talk and which, uh, which talk should be considered a political talk. And uh, we had to uh, introduce some other categories to deal with the more uh, controversial uh, abstracts. So all in all, we looked at uh, 2,307 talks. They are in a comma-separated values file. And uh, we asked uh, three humans uh, to categorize. Um, here, uh, we would like to thank uh, Fumiko, who helped us to uh, go through all these talks. And uh, of course, uh, Mel and me were also reading them. Um, we didn't use the categories that are used in the um, conference tracks, also because the, the different categories of uh, the conference tracks were changing over the years. Uh, but also because uh, these categories uh, don't necessarily uh, reflect the research questions that we wanted to ask. So, uh, of course, the uh, most hotly debated part of this um, will be how we discern technology from politics. Uh, in short, we can say that um, we just um, we just assumed that everything that comes into the Congress has something to do with technology. So what we were looking for 
is a, um, a social impact where uh, it is not just about, for example, the technicalities of a certain legislation, but it's also discussed how this legislation is uh, shaping society or which uh, social groups is this good for or bad for. So what difficulties did, uh, did we have? Of course, as mentioned before, there were a couple of talks where we had no abstracts. Um, we tagged them as undefined. For example, there was one talk called uh, THC++. We don't know what this was about. We have our speculations, but um, we cannot definitely say whether it was technical or political. Um, there were a few non-talks like the Hacker Jeopardy, um, radio broadcast, theater, DJ sets, music, films, um, that we also excluded from the, uh, uh, from our, from the tax versus politics tagging um, and, and tag them as non-talks. And then there were controversial talks or just to show that um, the differentiation between technical and political here at the Congress is not always so easy. So uh, one talk, for example, called Object to Software, The Coming Revolution, um, sounds quite or rather technical, but in the abstract it shows that it's actually dealing with changing um, changing the world or, or changing the way uh, things are made, um, influencing how everyone uh, can access technology. So this is certainly a social or political stance that this has. So we have a couple of pre preliminary results, preliminary because they're only based um, on the tagging of one data set. Um, and as we said, we hope to find, uh, to find more people for the tagging, but also to join the data sets together. Um, so there are uh, consistencies, um, which mean, uh, which we found out is um, they're almost, or it's about 50-50 that the, the Congress is about tech and politics. There's, it's slightly more technical talks, as I said, from this first data set of tagging, it looks a bit more technical, um, but it's almost 50-50. Um, then there were certain inconsistencies. For example, in 2007, um, you can see that the number of talks goes down in 2000 here. And this was not a change of venue. And it, it, it's also not obvious from the number of attendance. So we don't really know where this came from. If any of you has an idea, please let us know. Um, also, you can see on this one, this is all talks over the years. Um, 87 and 88, for example, we could not find any information at all. No reviews, no file plan. I think only the announcement of the Congress. Um, and then there's th some potential findings or, or things that we could read from the data. Uh, one is that more participants that not, does not mean more talks. Um, another one um, is for where we could see that the data actually shows what's also written in reviews is in 89 in the Datenschleuder. It says that for the first time um, there was less technical talks than political or social ones. And this is also shown um, in the data um, here. You can see this is the first time that politics is taking over technology. Yeah, this is the overall graph. Um, there, as we said, there might be um, adaptations to this one when we merge the tagged files, but it looks like for a while politics um, was much stronger, uh, technically, technical talks were much stronger, and at the moment politics uh, seems to catch up. So which one is which, say the blue oh, one? Oh, the blue one is the techni uh, technical talks and the green one is the politics. So, um, how we want to go on um, with this idea is, uh, um, um, is asking you uh, to uh, help us uh, also maybe to improve the uh, code uh, or to uh, volunteer to categorize the talks. Uh, you can send uh, pull, pull requests of uh, just a few talks or uh, you can debate what is already there or you can sit down and uh, spend, uh, I guess, around 12 hours to go through uh, every talk and uh, add your opinion to the uh, pool. Uh, you can also fork and repurpose. 
uh, the um, code and the database. So, for example, it would be quite nice to do something like this with the Hope Conference um, in the United States, which is supposed to be one of the more political uh, hacker conferences in North America. And I wonder uh, how these things are playing out over there. Um, we also uh, want to talk to people uh, to try to find out some of the archives that are mentioned uh, in different documents that we uh, were looking at. Uh, so apparently at some point there was an official Congress paper uh, published during the conference. And uh, in 1989 there is also mentions of an electronic newspaper that was circulated. And in various places, for example, in the 34th uh, Datenschleuder, we also um, saw references to a legendary chaos archive. And the question is if the chaos archive is uh, lost or it's possible to find. And uh, to uh, discuss these questions and to uh, continue um, uh, the uh, talk uh, in a more relaxed uh, setting, we registered a discussion in the uh, A2 room tomorrow at four o'clock. So if you want to uh, share with us some stories from the early uh, congresses uh, or uh, your opinions about uh, technology and politics at the Congress, please come and uh, talk to us there. Um, <clears throat> as I said, uh, we have to see uh, how the three data sets that we have uh, relate to each other and uh, then if we can have uh, three different opinions about each talk, then we can have a less uh, subjective um, uh, data set to work with. Um, we also have to um, get information from the years that are missing and, uh, of course, uh, clean up the uh, code a bit. But uh, this uh, um, stupid idea of uh, um, dividing the talks into technology and politics is uh, just a first uh, step, uh, one of the uh, initial approaches uh, to this problem. We actually uh, want to spend uh, most of the time of the research project uh, with uh, qualitative data. Uh, so uh, talking to people, making interviews, focus groups and so on. And, uh, uh, how we want to use this uh, uh, statistical evidence is uh, basically just to have a consistent uh, starting point for uh, discussions. Um, if we do this, then we can also start to ask more interesting questions. Um, for example, how does the uh, ideas about uh, politics uh, depend on the ideas about technology that are circulated inside the Congress? Uh, or uh, how these two categories are actually defining uh, each other. And thank you very much. Uh, you can see our contacts here, and the slides are uh, also online, so you can uh, download them if you want. And as we are well on time, um, maybe we can just ask um, one question to the audience. Who has attended the Congress in the 80s? Ah, so there are a couple of people, so we really hope some of you are joining our workshop because we're really very interested in hearing um, about those days. We found, as we said, um, very little written evidence from those years. Thank you. Thank How you. about a round of applause? Uh, we have a few minutes for questions, so please step up to the microphones if anybody has anything to ask or add. Yes, microphone one, please. Yeah, thank you for your, thank you for your talk. Um, very interesting. So my question is, um, you said you don't want to use those uh, grassroots uh, categories um, that the Congress itself uses for categorizing talks. Um, that, that's, that's fine, but, but I still would be interested in knowing how have these um, grassroots categories changed over the years? Have you any observations on that? Well, um, no, we didn't look at this uh, specific question. Uh, what I can uh, say about this is maybe that uh, there was a lot of uh, technical talks which actually ended up, uh, for example, criticizing society or proposing uh, a campaign or uh, pointing out a conflict between social groups. Um, 
And of course, uh, for example, if a talk is about uh, firmware security, then it will automatically go into the technical uh, section. Um, but uh, at the same time, we found uh, talks that were uh, in the uh, political track, uh, that were just explaining, for example, what are the current laws that regulate um, independent security research. And uh, as long as they were just uh, an overview of the actual legislation in place, uh, without uh, any normative opinions or without uh, any reflection on what does it mean um, for uh, um, in terms of uh, freedom or uh, let's say privacy uh, for the larger population, we just uh, <laughs> categorize them as technical mm -hmm. talks. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. What about microphone three? I switch to German. Zu eurer Statistik äh, zwischen 2004 und 2007, von wegen der Anzahl der Workshops, das war baulich bedingt, da waren wir zu der Zeit im Hack P und da hatten wir einfach nicht so viele Räume und deswegen waren die Workshops auch mal okay. weniger. Danke, wichtige Info. I can, I can translate for you later. Are there any other questions? Anybody else? Thank you very much.